Hello everyone, today we're going to do some camera shake for each of our weapons. We're going to have a different camera shake. If you didn't follow the tutorial from the beginning, not a problem. You'll be able to do that by your own without following the series. So we're going to start with the sniper rifle. You can see here there's just a little camera shake when you use that weapon. The shotgun would be a bigger one. As you can see there, we're going to take the assault rifle. It's just going to be a small one. Obviously, you'll be able to adjust that the way you want for each of your weapon without any problem. So I will uh, show you exactly how to do this with only one weapon if you attach that directly to your character or if you use different weapon like in this series. So we'll show you two different ways of doing the same thing. In the project, we're going to start with the weapon master class. And here we have the weapon animation that we're using for our muzzle flash. So we're just gonna extend on this and just do our camera shake. As you can see here, it's very, very simple. So you drag from your first person gun here and you're gonna search for get animation instance and you're gonna get this one right there. And you're gonna be able to drag from this and montage play. You're gonna be able to create this node and the montage play will be or animation montage that we're using for our weapon. So very, very simple. We're gonna use this logic because we use different weapons in our game. However, if you only have one weapon directly attached to your character, what you can do is you can just get the player camera manager. And from that, you can drag and start the camera shake that you have here we can even use the start legacy camera shake if you want to one of the other uh, it's not a problem so you use one or the other without any issue you can plug that directly up here and you will be able to set up your camera shake here we're just gonna have to shake and to shake a class but take a class to shake and you have the legacy camera shake right here and you can even create take the default camera shake right there so you can click on this and you can even browse to it to find it or you can create your own class for your camera shake and you can do that from there if you do that in your first person character without problem you can do that directly from there too however that doesn't concern us for this project so for our project we're gonna drag from the first person gun here you gonna get the anim instant from the anim instant the return value we're gonna be able to drag and get the montage Make sure the target anim instant is obviously the first person gun here. And the montage that we're going to have to connect is going to be the anim montage that we have for our weapon here. Because we're going to use the animation notify to basically do our camera shake. Okay, so in our master blueprint, we only need those two nodes. So when we have that, we can compile. And we'll be all good for this so we're going to go back to our project here and in the blueprint i create a folder called animation notify and there we're going to create different things for having our camera shake we're going to start with the anim notification that we're going to use in the animation itself so i just want to show you what i'm talking about so here we have the animation for our rifle that we have right here and you see that we're using some animation notify for the the firing and the sound right so you can see that here so we're going to use one of those track to also do our camera shake okay so we're going to go back to our game here and we're going to go to the blueprint and animation notify and we're going to right click on the browser and we're gonna search for a blueprint class. In the all class here, if it's like this, just click here to instant, click on the arrow. And we're gonna search for anim notify. I'm gonna take the first one here. I'm gonna select. So we're gonna call that anim notify. And it's gonna be our camera shake. So we call that is just the notify that we're going to put right here. Okay. So we're going to jump right into it. And inside here, we're going to go under the function here. We have overwrite. We're going to drag from there, not drag, but we're going to get 
and select receive notification or notify and we're going to just push the return value a little bit further down and here we're going to search for our get player controller and from the player controller we're going to drag from the return value and we're going to be able to have our client camera shake so client start camera shake we're going to take the first one here now we're going to be able to plug this one there and this one there need to make sure that our return value is set to true and here it's where we're going to put our camera shake for each of our weapons so we're going to create different camera shake for our weapon this it's only the notification that we use but in the notification which i'm referring to this animation here we're going to have an option here when we're done that we're going to be able to select for each of our weapon which camera shake that we want to use so we're going to go back to our notification here and we're going to drag from the shake and i'm going to promote this to a variable and i'm going to call this variable weapon camera shake and i'm going to make sure that i click on instant editable here so that way i will be able to see it from my my class here i'll be able to access that right there so when this is done we can compile and save this so we shall not have to come back here so we're going to go back to our first person map and here we're going to start to create our camera shake so we're going to click on the content browser we're going to do a blueprint and we're going to search for camera shake and if we go down here we have the legacy camera shake so we're going to click on this i'm going to use this one i'm going to select and when you open it you can see that we have different setting that we can use that's exactly what we want so i'm just going to rename this by clicking f2 and this will be my rifle camera shake i'm going to duplicate this two more times and it's going to be one for each of my weapons so shotgun for this one and we're going to duplicate that once again and this time it's going to be for my sniper so we have our animation notify here and we have our camera shake for each of our weapons so we're going to start with the rifle itself so here in the rifle itself the first value would be 0.4 for the duration and the other one will be 0.2 and this one will be one so we're gonna go down here and we're not gonna use the pitch we're gonna use the yaw here and in the yaw itself we're gonna put 0.5 the frequency would be 40 and the roll for camera would be one for the amplitude and the frequency will be 50 and we have nothing else to change there but we have other settings so we can play with it if you want to but for my case, I'm not going to play with the rest. So I'm going to save this one. I'm going to go back and open the shotgun this time. And the shotgun would be very, very similar. So we're going to start with 0.4. We're going to have 0.2. And here it's going to be 1. And our yaw is going to be 5. And it's going to be 50. Actually, sorry, not 50, 40. And the amplitude for the roll will be 1 and 50 will be right there. And we can compile this. And now we're going to go back and just get our sniper camera. And we're going to do 0.4 for this one. We have 0.2 and 1. The first one right here will be 5 and 40. And this one here will change a little bit. So we're going to put 1. And we're going to put 50 down there. And we're going to compile this. So I think our, yeah, the sniper rifle and the shotgun has exactly the same value. So let me double check here because I'm pretty sure I did a mistake somewhere. Oh, sorry. Here it's not 1. It's going to be 3. And we're going to compile. So now we can save all of that. 
So now we're going to have to go to each of our animation. Right, we have our animation right here. So we're going to go to each of our animation to be able to add basically our camera shake to it. So we're going to go all the way down. All our animation are under military weapon dart, weapon and anim. We're going to open the fire rifle there. So we're going to add a new track here. And I'm going to right click on that and add notify. And now you're going to see that we have our anim notified for the camera shape. We, we're going to click on this. As you can see here now, we add it right there. And if you go on detail right here on your uh, detail panel right there, we're going to have access to the weapon camera shape that we created. If you remember right here, we did the weapon camera shake. So now in our animation itself, we have the option to select a good camera shape for each of our weapon. So we have the rifle right there and we're going to be able to click on the drop down menu and select the rifle camera shake and save that. So now when we fired, our camera shape will play at the same time of our muzzle flash. Okay, so you can put that a little bit where you want. It's not a problem. And now we're gonna go to our animation for our shotgun. We're gonna double click on the shotgun. And here we're gonna add a new track for the notify, add notify. Now we're gonna have the option to right click there, add notify, and we're gonna use our anim notify for the camera shake that we did. Gonna make sure here on our detail panel we click detail make sure we have the anim notification camera selected and we're going to be able to use the drop down menu to use our shotgun camera shake and save that we're going to repeat the same process sniper rifle animation uh, that is right there and same thing we're going to add a new track that track here we're going to right click on the track add the notification that we want so we want the anim notification camera shake we're going to make sure that we have the camera shake selected go to the detail panel right here and we're going to select our sniper camera shake so when our animation play it's going to play the shake of the camera as well so we can try this out hopefully everything works correctly so we're going to do play I'm going to start with a shotgun because this one is the most obvious when we are using it. You can see the camera is shaking. So you can play with the setting that you want to make it shake the way you like. I'm just showing you quickly how to do this. We're going to take the rifle right here. You can see here we have a little shake when we shoot with it. That's pretty good. So we're going to drop that on the floor and we have our sniper right here got a pretty good shake when we use that as well so it's pretty much how you do your camera shake for our three weapons in this series so thank you for watching i will catch you on the next one